In this video, I'm going to show you how to make cartoon animation videos right inside Canva. Yes, the same Canva you're already using for thumbnails and social posts. This method helped me turn simple designs into scroll-stopping animated videos, and barely anyone's talking about it. So, here's how it works. I'm in Canva using a free account. Today, we're going to talk about how to animate a video using Canva. First, I'm going to go to video right here and then choose landscape. You could also choose mobile, but today I'll stick with landscape. That'll open up a brand new window. Next, I've already picked out three backgrounds, but I'll show you how I did it. Basically click here to add a page, then come over to elements. I was looking for landscape backgrounds. Then I went to graphics and looked through these. Anything you see with a crown is a pro or a premium image. That means you have to pay for it. So ignore those if you're on the free plan. In order to add an image to a page, just make sure you have the page chosen. Go back to elements. Let's say I want to use this one. All you have to do is click on it and Canva will add it to the page. Then you can click here and choose set images background and Canva will size it to fit the whole page. That's how you do that. Let's work on animating these. I want to work on this one first. I'll move it up a bit. I'll go back to this and choose road. No, sorry. See, that's what happens if you choose one that is premium, it'll have this big watermark. That's not what you want. So let's find one that's free. I'll choose this one and rotate it around until it's straight and resize it. I'll put it right down here. That'll work. I'll take both of these and move them, yes. Now I'll take this road and shrink it down a little. I need a few bushes. This one looks fine, so I'll put it here, just to make things more interesting. This little tree will work, and I'll send it backward. Let's look for a motorcycle. Click on this right here, Go to animated, and we'll see if there's anything that's free and animated. How about this guy? He's both free and animated. He's out delivering pizza to somebody who lives in the mountains. So let's take this and pull him right over here, just like this. Now we're going to animate him. We'll click on animate right here, click on this B, and then kind of drag him across, just like that. That is perfect. Then click done. How about some birds flying? We have animated chosen. Let's see if there's any free ones. I'll use this little guy, he's free, and put him right down, pecking around. I'll duplicate it and move his friend over here. Flip him, and now we have two looking for something to eat. Let's add this bird here, sitting on a tree branch. I'll add a pretty butterfly. Let's also animate it. So click that, click the bee, and then do this. Click done. What else can we add? How about a pond? Maybe add a duck. I'll put it right there. This one will be perfect. So we'll take this guy and make him float in the pond. Let's watch it. So you see, that needs to be fixed. So I'm glad we saw that. Here's what I'll do. Click on this, go to position, go to layers, and take this pond. Pull it right back here. Let's try it again. So the duck is still in the wrong place. So let's move the duck behind the man. All right. Now those two birds need to be behind the man. So we'll grab them and drag them like this. See? Now they're both behind him. This time we're on a street just outside a city. Let's search for car and choose this one. I'm looking for more plants. I'll choose these and put it right there. Now you can see the car is behind the bushes. If we didn't do that, it would be running on top of these and we don't want that. So let's put them right there. I'll take the car and do something similar with it and pull it right over here. Click on animate, click on the B, 
and then just pull it across, lower the speed, make it steady, and click Done. Let's add clouds. How about this one? We can make it a little more transparent. And how about a helicopter? This one is free, so I'll use it. I'm going to animate it. So I'll click on Animate, on the B, and that's good. Then click Done. And how about some trees? I'll choose some that are animated and add it right about there. Okay. Let's see what's going on. So you see the helicopters behind the tree. This time I want that tree to be behind the helicopter. So let's fix it. Watch this. I'll use the same basic process as before. For this third example, watch me as I work. And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.